Hello everyone, and welcome back to Gaming with Shoggoths, and I have no idea what you're talking about. That Plotticus's head is not going through that rock. <laughs> Anywho, uh, welcome back to our modded storyline playthrough of Jurassic World Evolution. Uh, we're only going to be staying here in Isla Muerta for a quick moment uh, before we uh, hop off to Isla Tacano. I've gotten all the up, or all of the unlocks. Well, uh, off, I did it off screen, kind of doodle the stuff, as you can see here. I've made some quality of life improvements to this enclosure. And to be perfectly honest, that's what I spent a lot of my time doing. It's just tweaking and deleting and tweaking and deleting. Uh, but I kind of have it more or less, I like it like this. And then also, I got rid of that stupid restaurant. I'm going to do something else here. Probably just decorations, and I was able to flatten this area out a little. This is as far as it seems to want to go, but uh, so I've sort of decorated and brushed this area, and I'm gonna have like kind of like this fencing going all the way along, like uh, some kind of like ridge basically, like it is here. So that way th the view is not obstructed by the fence. But you can't just tumble down the side either. <laughs> so this will kind of improve and change as uh, the island is built. And, you know, did some other uh, little minor tweaks here and there. And uh, that's that's about it. I didn't do anything huge yet. I have a research center full of minerals because Takano is bankrupt. So uh, we're gonna, it's going to need some a quick influx of cat. All right, let's scoot over there. There was another island near here where an amusement park was built over the bones of an abandoned one. Spared no expense, as Hammond would say, a biological preserve. Yeah, you may have heard about it, at least the stuff that wasn't classified. One of your predecessors was in charge of this island. It didn't go very well for them. But here's your opportunity to succeed where they failed. You'll need to carefully consider how to make money if you want to turn this into a profitable endeavor. And you do. Trust me. Alrighty, look at that horrible... Uh, do we have a... Oh, we don't even have a... A research center here, so I guess we're gonna sell shit until we do have enough for a research center. See you. I don't like the entertainment centers anyways. I I like all this stuff though. Nice. I like not having to put all this stuff down. <laughs> and it's it's well laid out. Personally, I think on this map, so. We don't need to be safe. I know we need creation lab, but I don't want it right there. I like how we have power lines, but we don't have a power station or do we oh that's right it's all the way now up here I don't like that either <laughs> I'm fine with this um, monorail though I do like having it there. They did such a nice job with the paths. I never do that good with the paths unless I'm trying super hard. Um, Alright. I don't really like this either, but we'll do that later. Well, at least the profit per minute is only negative 10. That's basically nothing. Um... Alright, we need 
the research station. that because I kind of want to make an enclosed area here kind of like um, we did with the security area on um, Saros. No, we don't have power now do we? <laughs> uh, duh. Okay. Um, oops. I guess I should have thought about that. Oh well. I just don't like having that power station the hell up there. That's probably not going to stay there, but we just need money right now. Why doesn't that have power? Oh. <laughs> uh. Cause that didn't have path. Oh yay, we have new research. Which is great because we also have oh wait. Balls. I just realized what I did. <laughs> I made a research and not a freaking. <laughs> oh no. Oh man. I made a research center and not a fossil place. <laughs> a fossil place. Wow. Listen to me being all technical. And All right, <laughs> crisis averted. Well, I restarted the island since we just started and did that smarter. So now we've got our three centers. Uh, we are going to put down a uh, Hammond creation line, but not in water, apparently. Live to regret the slope choice, but you know. All right, creation lab. Be a freaking dinosaur in here before we run out of money again. Yeah. We we'll have to keep going back and getting more research stuff. We do have a bunch of more research unlocked now. Um, but that's gonna have to wait until we get some moolah. And we're not gonna do electric fences quite yet.
just gonna make this a large inclusion for now. Probably like kind of start with an atypical herbivore. Herbal, herbal. Wow. Herb, I sounded like my grandmother. Herbivore! A herbivore. First, I got into this because it was my job. But then I saw what we do here. It's a kind of magic. The value of these animals is so much more than just financial. Took you long enough to figure that out, Claire, didn't it? And I did end up just leaving this up here. This power station up here is just one last thing to worry about right now. I'll fix it eventually. What is the malfunction? Is it not enough power? No. It doesn't even start us off with a small power station. Jerks. Alright, let's see what we've got. Talosaurus Dunceratus. We haven't done a Guanodon. I still don't have a mod for them. Uh, we have some Masutoceratops. Uh, Barry. I don't think I have a mod for Barry either yet. Um, I'm gonna do. A couple of Uh I do have a mod for that. It's just it's just a basic um or not basic. <laughs> well, these mods are basic. But it's a uh, for accuracy kind of mod. Oh, that's a very different head. Right? <laughs> ah, the Huayangosaurus, another member of the Stegosaurus. Yeah, that is a really different head. Interesting. Very interesting. I like it. It's cute. Makes it look cuter. It's got those big eyes. <laughs> Big old eyebrows, or yeah. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Took a short break and I made sure I got some uh, mods. I found mods for most of the dinosaurs that we have currently available to us to either dig or add or are already being dug up. Um, on this screen, Dracorx is still a no-go. I don't really dig any of the Velociraptor ones. I did get a berry. Um, I did, don't like the one Carithosaur that's available. It's not that I don't like it, but I don't think it's that much better. Uh, and there's no Chunky. So, and I think that's that's everything. I did find an Iguanodon. So. 
Alright, let's do expansion. You've done good work in the past. That's why I know you I bet you this one doesn't have a lifespan rating of 100. There's no way. No. Not that far though. Thought we might be able to get one. That far. Trying to think of something I could do in the meantime, and it's not really. I mean, it's, this is that that part of the the new game where you kind of oh, that is a much longer tail. That seems like a way longer tail now that I'm like looking at it from behind, which is groovy, especially if that's more accurate. Yeah, I like it. It's growing on me. Bikes are back farther too. It's pretty cool, I dig it. Um, but uh, yeah, waiting game. Waiting game. Oh man, that didn't give us fast. Alright, so if all went well on loading up this mod, this should be a, another walking with dinosaurs look alike. Cutie patootie. I think this is the walking with dinosaurs. Mm -hmm. Yes. I've <laughs> written down for the credit roll. Uh, yeah, so the walking with dinosaurs. It's just, it's mostly a skin mod, I think. Uh, I think there's some minor tweaking there. The Walking with Dinosaurs, the Null, which is what this one is, the base pattern. Uh, and then also the Alpine pattern is the other one, and then the rest of them are. Well, I believe we have the Alpine too, so we should probably uh, take a look at that once we have enough cash. <laughs> Contracts are the bread and butter of our work. I mean, that'll happen eventually. I like more bread. Alright, I think I'm going to pop over to another island and we're going to get some more uh, fundings <laughs> from dig sites because this is just going to go slow and crappy and there's no re there's no need for that <laughs> in this in this day of knowledge. So I shall be back for you, it would be momentarily. For me, it may be a few. Alright, well, I finally got some stuff going on here. It's a dangerous more stuff world. going on here. This place um, makes it more dangerous. This contract can help us with security here. I've been trying so hard to get these paras to 100%, and I have totally wiped out two of three places that have the paras, and I'm still sitting at 97%. I can't get this one to get it to me either. So I just gave up and made the paras, because, you know, it's like 3%, but I wanted to do it out of principle, because it's, you know, the, they last longer when they started on Um, uh, we are upgraded, or er, researched to the teeth. Decorated this new enclosure. We've got two Hoyangas and an Iguanodon. Iguanodon is a, uh, walking with dinosaurs Iguanodon. And then we have a remodeled Hoyanga. I think I just said all of this in the last clip, so this might all get edited out. <laughs> Alright, but we've- oh, this looks terrible. Can this get- no, this- well, maybe it can get lifted? I hate the way that, like, buildings and the gates, of all things, screw with the landscape. Um, so, there we go. Well, and honestly, it's from the 
this, the foundation of this thing comes up like here, and that's just really annoying in my opinion. Anyways, uh, we didn't really need this in partitioned off enclosure for the Paris, but we will be getting other dinosaurs that won't be going into this enclosure. Um, but anyway, so, yes, we've got these Paras, and it, I do have a mod. It's just a skin mod, and I don't know if it applies for all skins, and we have three skins available, so I did all three of them. Two of the base and one of each of the other ones. I th it might just be a base model skin, but we'll see. Um... But yes, these are hard-earned paras. <laughs> oh, look at that. Now, ain't that a fancy girl? This is, of course, a reskin of the para for the... And it might even be tweaked a little. kind of looks tweaked a little, model-wise. Uh, for the Camp Cretaceous. It's pretty cool. Oh god, the tail. <laughs> tail went all kinds of crazy in that tree. I love that she's spouting all that nonsense while the bright pink Parasaurolus is running out. It's so cute! It actually looks so adorable like this. I love it. Uh, I did watch, I have watched Camp Cretaceous, you know, I, I mean, let's, let's, let's put it this way. I'll just put it this way, okay? Like, I'm pushing 40, and I'm not just saying that, I really am. I'm almost 40, okay? Like, no joke, no lie. Uh, it's very good hearing me admit my age, so, so feel privileged if you're listening right now. But, I'm almost 40, so watching a bunch of teenagers <laughs> run around on screen is not my favorite thing in the world. And I'm really dubious as to whether or not they would even survive as long as they have, and it's only been a couple days. Um, <laughs> I enjoyed it for what it was, but it's not like my preferred mode of Jurassic entertainment, but I'll take what I can get when it comes to dinosaurs. It was not terrible, but it's not it was, it's not really my bag completely. But I do love these paras! It's so cute! It is adorable. Alright, so this next one should be the exact same thing. There's something about the pink on the nose, up and up the sail, the crest, whatever the technical term is for it, that is just so adorable. That's so cute. That's so cute. Okay. Now, what I don't know is if. Oops. If these were. Oh, yeah, it is different! This one is blue or white? White. Oh, I like that. Oh, it is kind of bluish. Though. Oh, they are cute. Can't quite tell because of the angle. Pink and green, it looks like. Oh god, sorry. Yeah, it's pink and green. Or, no, pink and yellow. Oh, they look great. I can't wait to see the other one. I like them. Adds a bit of flair, right? And it's totally canon. You can't even be like, oh, but that's not canon. It's canon. It's even canon. So take that. Yeah, just like that. <laughs> oh, I don't know why, but these are just making me absurdly happy right now. Lovely. Lovely, lovely. Serious props. Serious props to Sweetener for these bioluminous. They are just making my day. Listen to them, they're all having a happy day. So chatty. Oh, I love it. Thank you, sweetener. <laughs> Alright. Um, okay, so I, you know what? I don't even know what I'm doing after that. I was so focused on Paras. 
to have no further plans for this part. It's the berry really is off. We could do two berries. Um, two, two berries over here. Probably. We don't need huge enclosure, right? I always love how I ask as if you guys can respond. Or, I mean, you can in the comments, uh, but that's not going to happen. We need to do a little rewiring here. Yes, that works. But I actually, this is what I don't want. Okay, so uh, we have an appropriate, hopefully, uh, enclosure for a baryonyx. And, um, but what we don't have, you might notice, is a feeder, which I can't afford. I'm short by about, oh, 200k, a little less than 200k. Um, but I think we can put it in here, and hopefully it being here will get us some money going in. I've got some... Uh, things coming back, so I'm pretty sure it will be fine if it doesn't have to. Oh, I forgot we had another one of them. Alright, well, let's, let's release that first. Kind of looks like the same pattern as the other one we released. Here we have the oh, I should probably open that game now. It's funny because the thumb bone was originally placed on the reconstructed skeleton's nose. Oh, okay, it is different, <laughs> right? Yeah, this one's lighter. Okay. I think the normal the normal iguanodon in this game has thick stripes. I think that's what's going on with that I do like the iguanodon skins in this game. The iguana's kind of chunky, though, I think. I don't, I mean, look at those beefy hands. <laughs> Hi, buddy. New buddy. Okay, so those are both walking with dinosaur skins. Um, that's the mod. Don't, I think those are the only two according to the mod description, I recall. We'll take a look at the other ones. 
just in case. When we get them. Alright, let's get our berry out. This is a new and improved berry. We are not gonna open the gate wall. And this dinosaur, the Baryonyx, lived in shallows and near wetlands. It possibly fed on fish, which given its surroundings would follow. One would hope its preferred diet hasn't changed in the intervening hundred million years. And you know, it's okay. I like it. I like it better than the current one. I don't know that there's something about the, like the kind of the notch in the face. The the muzzle, the nose, the mouth, however you want to put it. Like that is a little weird to me, but also this is not the best approach for checking it out. Do both of them. Well, this color is definitely better than the normal berry colors. I'm not really up on, like, what a truly accurate berry looks like. As opposed to, like, what a truly accurate Spinos looks like. Eh, it's growing on me. I like it. I definitely like the pattern. I like the color. It's the blue, I'm sure. Uh, and now we can give it to... And see if we get another one. Yep, right under that. Uh, is everything else okay for the berry? Grassland, water, forest, population. Alright, everything's good. Great. That is a big enclosure <laughs> for one berry. We will definitely need to get another one in there. Interesting color combination. I like it. I think these guys are definitely an improvement on our current berry. I'm excited that I actually got this to work like this. I usually have so much trouble making like where the path is raised above the enclosure. When I do do it, it's usually unintentional, and I hate it because it's unintentional. <laughs> or it looks just really bad. But I am I'm actually really happy with how this one turned out. It took some fussing, but that's okay. get an elevated view of our berry coming in. And then we're probably going to need to end this episode, because I think I have... A lot of footage, and unfortunately, not a lot happened in this episode that was really productive for on screen time, but you know, that's okay. They can't always be winners, right? We got some beautiful berries. Look at that tail going. That's, that's weird because I'm pretty sure that's the mod kind of wigging out, but it almost looks natural. Uh, we got some perfect paras. We're getting the alliteration going on. Beautiful berries, perfect paras. We also got the uh, the Fyungosaurus. So we got some mods in. And the, oh, and the Iguanodons. Yeah, so we actually got four new mods this episode. So it was productive, just not productive in the storyline. Starting to wonder if, if need be, although, I mean, need, uh, we're not running out of space, but we could always put a fence up there on that hill make two enclosures but I kind of like letting the carnivores roam in large enclosures and we'll get some like some uh sauropods of some sort but we haven't uh the Jordanus is the first one we've bought them not I think this is a big enough enclosure for the Jordanus. perhaps we can put some giant Jordanus in here with these berries Jordanus are expensive yeah, I love watching the toes like spread right behind your mouth. Just kind of dunk the head right in. So this one's like a little more blue green, and this is. Are they? Wait, are they? Yeah. And this one's like green and dark brown, this is like green. 
I like the I like the darker one better. It's a little more natural. The lighter one kind of has the sort of almost like a borderline going around with lighter parts. But yeah, growing on me, I dig it. Cool. Okay. Well, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please do leave a like, subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll be back with another episode of Jurassic World Evolution Modded Storyline real soon. Until then, have a good one. <laughs>